Isang magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si Dr. Dexter Dalban at kasama ko po ngayon ang uh, ating mga guests na makakatalakayan natin at makakaroon din po tayo ng libre konsultasyon ngayong araw. At napakaganda po ng gabi natin dahil ngayon kasama po natin ang ating mga um, panauhin na sina. Dr. Tina De La Paz. Dr. Tina De La Paz, please say hi. Hi. At, at kasama rin po natin, isa rin po namin kaibigan, Dr. Tanya Pineda Obias. Hi, Dex. Thanks for having me. And maraming maraming <laughs> Of course, kasama rin po natin, Alaga Health's very own Dr. Via Roderos. Hi! Isang magandang gabi po sa ating mga viewers. Hi, Tina! Hi, Sanya! That's great. And we're not alone here. Hindi lang po puro medical professionals yung nandito, pero kasama rin po natin ng ating mga Alaga Moms. So these are the moms of Alaga Health. First first up, we have Mommy Edlene Dela Cruz. Say hi! Hello! Good evening! And next up, another Alaga mom, Mama Des Garcia. Hello, Paul. Good evening. Thank you. And <laughs> not last but not the least, definitely not the least, Mommy Ari and Anastasia. Hi, everyone. Good evening. Hi. Yeah. It's great to see all of you. I'm surrounded by amazing women tonight. And... This is the very first episode of Alaga Health Live and unlike the previous webinars of Alaga Health, ito po sobrang relax, sobrang chill lang po tayo and you can ask anything that you want to ask and isap lang po tayo tungkol sa kalusugan, especially since it's Mother's Day tomorrow, we're here to celebrate all of our mommies. That's why ang hashtag po natin today ay Alaga Ni Nanay. Now, um, to kick things off, I'd like to ask our beloved Alaga moms, if you have any burning questions sa ating mga guest doctors tonight, meron na kayong mga nararanasan bilang mga first-time moms tungkol sa health ng kids nyo o kaya naman sa health nyo mismo na gusto nyo sanang malinawan sa, sa pagtatanong sa ating mga guest doctors today. So, the floor is now open. Maybe we can call on uh, Mommy Edlene de la Cruz, any immediate questions right off the gate? I know si Mommy Edlene po kasi ay ano, halos kasabay ng kanyang uh, baby sa paglaki yung Alaga Health. And during that time, nakita namin talaga kung paano siya lumaki from being born to up to now. Ano yung mga naging challenges mo, Mommy Edlene? Hello. Um, more on challenging is yung situation natin ngayon, especially yung pandemic. So, my question is, how do you nourish your child during these times? Like, sa so food, not for the child only, pati rin as a parent. Okay. So, ang tanong ni Mami Edley, uh, ito daw yung mga issue kabinitan, eh, yung mga picky eaters. Yan. And I think, we can get the thoughts of our guest doctors today. So feel free to pitch in. But unahin ko na muna ang ating resident media uh, on call, Dr. Tina De La Paz. Hi, Mommy Edlyn. Thank you for that question. Actually, dapat ang inuna si Tanya because Tanya has her own baby. <laughs> um, but uh, personally, I think it's very important to continue nourishing your child during this pandemic. You know, um, yung mga kids nga, although they're uh, highly recommended about the, actually not just highly recommended, they should just stay home. Um, it's the responsibility of the parents, especially um, our beautiful mommies, to really uh, stimulate the kids while they're home. So um, it depends on the age of the child, but if we're talking about very young children, um, we should always think of play as a very important tool to stimulate kids. Um, so play is not, uh, I'm not referring to using gadgets or, you know, leaving them with iPads or things like that, but um, 
uh, like educational play or um, play that would allow them to, like kung young kids to, mga games that will allow them to identify colors, um, that will uh, teach them how to count, yung mga ganun. And it's ano, a good opportunity also to bond with your child. Diba? Parang blessing in disguise din kasi yung um, pandemic na to, since we're at home, no, we're not always stuck outside. So we parang forced to bond with our kids, um, which is good, di ba? Um, and your other question about nourishing, as said in terms of food, um, I think it's always important to stress that we need uh, a, a balanced diet for our kids. So always, number one, me, I always tell mommies, um, it's important to hydrate them, to give them vitamins. Like vitamin C is very important because we need the immune system to be boosted during this time. So no weak immune systems allowed sa mga bata. And hindi kailangan ano, mga strong, mamahaling vitamins ang kailangan bilhin. Pwede makuha yun sa mga sources ng food, good food. So green leafy vegetables or mga um, fruits are very good for kids. And I think there's a way, I, I, maybe Tanya can share mga tips and tricks niya with her baby um but uh i'm sure i'm sure there's a way to make kids like vegetables alam ko maraming mga picky eaters but i grew up personally liking vegetables kasi my mom shout out to her happy mother's day um my mom really knew how to cook vegetables well so parang i think there's a way of like uh preparing kids um making the food of the kids um colorful bright para they're excited to eat it Tanya. <laughs> well, next naman daw, si Tanya. Yeah, directly first time yeah. mom and medical professional also. So, any thoughts? Yeah. Mommy, uh, Tanya? <laughs> yeah. So, I'm a mom to a 10-month-old. So, actually, it's been four months since you started eating. And to be honest, it was challenging for me too. Like, um, I keep on, even though I know that you have to... Um, give your child a balanced diet, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's really hard because um, parang sometimes ayo naman niya. Uh, so when it comes to that, parang so, uh, uh, most of the time, I just um, really, as a mom, I keep on giving him um, the food he needs talaga. So ipipilit mo siya talaga na you you put it on his plate para kita niya visible to him all the time because if he eats the food he eats now it's more likely that he consumes it in the future kasi so it's a um it's a way to start him on really keeping a healthy weight so um other tips uh for nourishing your child with food like um, one thing is that you shouldn't deprive if oh, you should always listen to his hunger cues and fullness cues. So kung busog na siya, even though he has like food left on his plate, you shouldn't uh, shove it down his throat because um, maybe he's full already and maybe kung ayaw niya talaga kumain, wait another time for him to eat because um, you have to listen to your child too. I mean, as a mom... I, to be honest, I really want everything in control. I don't know if <laughs> everyone's like that, but as a mom, I am a kind of control freak. So um, I want him to, I, I try to be flexible with him too. I listen to him when he doesn't want anymore, then okay, let's wait a few minutes. Maybe you'll be hungry. Then on. Um, yeah, so basically just um, keep on uh be patient with your child because he doesn't know he's not used to these things but then so you keep on get you just keep on giving him what he needs and um yeah it'll turn out fine i hope <laughs> that's great anything to add dr via yes no and dami namang and dami namang tips na binigay ng ating mga magagandang doktora. Once again, good evening mga mommies, especially to our alaga mommies who are here with us right now. And to mommy, doktora Tanya, hello. Happy Mother's Day in advance sa iyo and sa inyong lahat. And to all the mothers who are watching out there, happy Mother's Day especially to my mama. Hi, ma! And to my titas 
who have been a second mom to me. So, syempre, nag-greet na ako, di ba? Wala pang, ano, wala pang, wala pang tips. Pero, of course, isa itong pagpupugay na binigay natin sa ating mga nanay na simula nung nasa sinapupunan pa tayo nila, ay inalagaan na tayo, no? And, of course, we wanted to give this special treat for our moms. That's why here in Alaga, we would always make sure that we take care of our moms na oh, nag-alaga sa atin when we were young. So, dagdag na lang ako dun sa magagandang points ni Dr. Tina at ni Dr. Sanya, no? Um, I'm not a mom, <laughs> but I had um, a sister. I have a sister who's 18 years younger than me. So, minsan napagkamalan akong nanay din ni Biel. Hi, Biel! How are you? So, yun, one of the things I can probably share um, in my experience no, and also what I would um, suggest to my patients, yung palagi kong pinapayo sa mga pasyente ko, is that you always have to give children the choice. no. Um, or for example, you have to give them the impression of giving them the choice. Like for example, si Biel, minsan, um, when she was younger, she would choose to play instead of eat. no. So that would affect nutrition. Mommy Edlaine, I'm pretty sure... Naging problema mo yun kay Ava. Hi, Ava! <laughs> yung, yung, cutie, yung cutie na baby ni Mommy Adeline. Um, so we always give them a choice whether... I, what I would do is, um, sasabihin ko, Biel, ano gusto mo? Play, play now? Eat later? Or um, mag-eat ka now, tapos you can play um, for a little longer later. So um, in that way... Hindi, hindi mapipilitan yung mga kids na mag-no or mag-yes, di ba? Usually kasi the kids would often say, No, mommy, no, ayoko, ayoko. I just wanna play, I just wanna play. Um, giving them the choice um, with not only what they eat or but also with how they eat will actually make your, or will actually help you a lot in terms of nudging your child to um, make, no, or to, to at least choose um choose to eat healthier. And um, one of the things also that that um, might be a problem ngayong pandemic is how do we access no um, proper nutrition? And paano natin malalaman na kunyari um, we only have vegetables in the in the fridge and usually hindi naman kumakain yun ng mga vegetables yung mga kids natin, di ba? You can actually sneak in um, vegetables in the favorite, in, in the um, favorite dishes of your children. See, Tina is actually, uh, Tina actually studied nutrition before, no, Tina? So, she can probably give us tips later. Pero yung ginagawa ko talaga, yung kay Biel, or um, what I learned from watching cooking shows, or what I would usually um, advise my patient is, for example, favorite ng, um, ng anak ninyo is, ano, macaroni and cheese. Hello, cutie. Um, mac and cheese. Usually, um, hinahap yung cheese uh, with the um, yung sauce ng cheese hinahap and then half of it is squash. So, in that way, parang natitrick mo yung kids mo to be able to eat vegetables. So, um, it's important, uh, sabi nga ni, ni Dr. Tina and ni Dr. Tanya, to really be healthy, especially during this time. No? So, keep your, um, keep your questions coming. Sobrang na-excite naman ako. Alright. Yeah, right. Definitely. Definitely. Um, I think we're off to a great start. Actually, meron daw follow-up question si Mommy Ari related dun sa unang nating tanong dyan. So, off to you, Mommy Ari. Uh, um, hello, Doc. Um, I do have a question. It's kind of related to uh, what uh, Dr. Tina mentioned earlier. It's about the vitamins. So, in terms of food, minsan po sa'yo walang gana kumain and so I changed her vitamins to Propan TLC. I, re I read some of the articles before buying propan. I even checked smart parent parenting sites para malaman ko anong meron dun sa vitamins na yun. Um, they said that after three months, you need to change her vitamins. Not sure why, why you need to change the vitamins since uh, meron na siyang gana kahit pa pa nung sinumulan kong palitan yung vitamins niya. Pero yun po, sa ngayon, two months pa lang po siya nag-vitamins ng propan. Sabi po nila, after three months, you need to change it. Um, why is that? Um, hi! Hello, Mom. Mommy Ari. Um, can I ask how old your baby is? Yes, um, she's two years old. 
So, so yes. So, um, for, ano, well, feeling, for our Facebook listeners, for Pantheon is a, parang it's like a, uh, multivitamin parang supplement. It's, uh, it has like a, parang the Corella growth factors. Parang, I think the more famous brand, I think is Cherifer. So, it, it, Okay. Parang helps you with growing and it helps with the um, appetite stimulation. Parang ganon. I'm not actually sure why they said that you have to shift the <laughs> within three months, honestly. But the only thing I could um, parang I can guess siguro is um, based on the age of your child. So for Pantias, because they have recommended ages, I know that they start out as drops and then you move on to syrup. So baka it's a change of preparation. Not necessarily a change of medicine. Um, this we also have to remember, like these are meds that are supplements. So um uh they help, they, they help our kids, but they're not the number one and like the sole source of um good nourishment for our kids. So parang pampatulong siya. So hindi siya like um hindi siya num- like para kailangan na kailangan unless your child is yung type na hindi kumakain at all, yung sobra sobrang picky eater, they might need a boost. Kaya may mga ganyang gamot. But um, I'm sorry, I, I don't know why exactly we had to change. Pero yun lang siguro yung nag-guess ko na baka it's the age. So okay. age preparation. Kasi yung drops for younger kids, tapos we shift to syrup after. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, so we're already talking about picky eaters. May tanong din daw si Mommy Des related to that. So go ahead, Mommy Des. Uh, hello po. Uh, Bakali, ano po? Uh, ano po kaya yung ideal way na para i-handle yung mga picky eaters? Dapat ba silang pagalitan? Or um, para, uh, kasi yung iba gusto nila yung mga uh, traditional moms or yung mga ibang mother, sabi nila, pilitin mo, pilitin mo or ano, kung ano yung ano nila, suggestion nila. Parang ganun. So, paano ba talaga dapat silang i-handle? <laughs> okay, I think the best person to ask about this ay yung mayroon talaga experience din <laughs> na nag-challenge pag nag-eater <laughs> yung kid na baby mommy slash doctora Tanya. Any thoughts? Experience, first-hand experience. Kamusta mm-hmm. ba ang pagiging first-time mommy at baka kahandle ka na ba ng issues with being very picky? <laughs> yeah, uh, um, ha- Uh, the ideal way um actually i don't really think there's an I- i'm not quite sure if there's an ideal way because everyone really de- deals with it differently eh? if you tell someone to deal with this that way or you're restricting them to um to a certain type i don't want to be meddling with parenting <laughs> that's the one thing i don't want to do um but um what i can give you is um maybe advice like um to deal with a picky eater because um like if for for a picky eater you really shampre he still needs to eat he can't starve so um if you're going to scold them naman <laughs> iyak lang siya <laughs> iyak lang siya tapos um pilitan siya kumain ng konte and then he's going to be upset so i suggest that Siyempre, he 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 needs to want what he's eating. So, ang best way to deal with it is to um prepare something that he likes to eat. Actually, what like what Via said na um if he wants to eat something, yung uh like uh mac- baked mac and cheese, maybe you can prepare it in a way na um healthier. Uh, you can replace it with cauliflower instead of macaroni. Or um, if he wants a treat sometimes, like chocolate, for example. I, I know that um, under one, you can't, under two years old, it's not recommended. But um, occasionally, um, you okay lang naman eh. Just not like every day. Um, except for the ones under two years old, of course. Pero like sometimes you have to give them a treat because... Um, you don't want them to be deprived then of um the food that are uh, they're craving for because they're gonna um want that in the future. But as a mom, it's your responsibility to discipline them. Now, okay, you have this for now, but um, 
you shouldn't spoil them to have it every day. Um, so yeah, basically, you can give them a treat at times, but not always. Like it's a kaya nga it's called a treat, eh? Kasi um, you it's special. If you give it every day, it's not gonna be special. And then one another thing is to actually sneak in some, yeah, it's, it's it's common advice, but sneak in some healthy food into the um into their food. Like when they want a fruit juice or something, just sneak in a little bit of greens in there. Um and at least it's added um nutrition for them too. Um yeah, it's really hard to deal with a picky eater. You can't force them really to eat because you want them to have a good relationship with food this early too. So you want them to want their food um, so that it, it, I another advice, I, I just thought of it. Like um, <laughs> you, let, you let them not go hungry, but you don't feed them. You, you just listen to them talaga. If they're, mm -hmm. if they're, if they're not hungry, you can't let, you can't make them eat just let them play first okay play ka muna, ganyan. and then um eventually he's gonna get hungry and even though it's not like meal like meal time we can see them try to feed him at meal time but if he doesn't want he takes a, a few spoons spoonfuls then eventually maybe he'll want more so you let you just listen to him really yeah um uh, honestly, oh I'm having a hard time too. Okay. <laughs> like, oh, oh my god, with my baby, um, he just wants to eat mangoes and bananas, like, and he he like he doesn't want to stay on his high chair, so I get stressed <laughs> too about it. But I just think, nah, um, okay, I I try my best, so. <laughs> Actually, yeah. <laughs> gusto ko niya mga pasta, ganyan. So, mga noodles. Minsan nga po talagang, ano, kinahaluan ko siya ng cabbage, carrots. Pero, bina-blender ko talaga sila. Pati mga chicken. As in, sobrang liit. Kasi, minsan kapag medyo malaki siya, hinihiwalay niya. Kahit na, na may naramdaman siya, hihiwalay niya. <laughs> Kaya, sobrang hihirap. Kaya lang, dapat durog na durog yung mga gulay. Kaya doon. So, ganun lang din po yung ginagawa Perfect. Oh, and you can also use herbs pala, like yung carrots. Mm. Um, honestly, some kids really don't like the taste of those vegetables. So mm. you have to like, um, uh, parang ibahin mo talaga yung lasa niya. Put lots of herbs in there. Oregano, mm. like a pepper, mm. not salt. Minsan po honey. Ganun. Yeah, honey. Pero <laughs> under one, it's not. Mm. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> We now have more tips on how to get picky eaters to really start enjoying yung mga typical na ayaw na ko lang kaigan like vegetables. Um, na, kahit paglaki, like even me and my brothers were also sometimes struggling to eat our own vegetables like that. So really can need to be starting young when it comes to eating right. So um, from food and nutrition, meron din tanong si Mommy Edwin and this one has something to do with socialization naman. And I think malaking challenge. And ang maganda, iba-iba yung stages ng uh, development ng kids niyo. So I'd love to hear it from her uh, directly. Mami Adlaine? Hello. Ayan. Um, so yung next question po is, how will you improve your child's social skills and how will you make them sociable? Like for me, I have a daughter, she's 13 months. So, ayun, what if, diba? like ngayon, hindi pwedeng lumabas. Yung mga, bahay, ay, yung mga tao sa bahay, they are the same people every day. So, paano kapag pwede nang lumabas and then takot sila sa tao, then will they develop that fear or, uh, paano ba? Parenting na to. <laughs> Parenting. <laughs> Teaching na. Actually, it's okay. It's totally fine kasi... Um, part of parenting is knowing the health information that you have to factor in. Kasi talaga being a parent is a holistic experience. So kailangan alam mo din talaga yung tamang health information. And with that being said, maybe we can ask our, well, kakapapas na ng ating resident mommy to discuss nutrition. Maybe let's get some 
insights from our media or maybe Dr. Ria can pitch in her experiences with Giel? Um, I'll try to that. But, uh, oh my gosh, I'm here to ask you. Um, okay. So, social interaction, it's such an important aspect of a child's growth and development. Right? We have like the motor skills, fine motor skills and all that. And then social interaction is one of those like parang pillars in um, for a child to grow. So specifically, Mommy Elaine, for your child, the good news is since 13 months pa lang, the social interaction is really limited to the immediate family. I mean, with or without the pandemic, it's really just you and your child, the parents, and, you know, the Filipino style. So, of course, barangay, lolo, lola, ganyan. And hopefully, na sa bahay ninyo. Um, with this pandemic kasi, uh, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's something na we, as pediatricians, um, it's something that we're very concerned about. Kasi nga, nawawala yung aspect na yun. Um, but yung disclaimer kasi namin is risk versus benefit we don't want to put our children at risk um, exposing them outside. Mas malaki yun eh. I mean, imagine if your child gets COVID. And not to scare anyone, pero tumataas na talaga yung numbers ng mga kids with COVID. Dati, pa a few months ago, konti lang kaso namin sa hospital. Ngayon, dumadami na talaga. And it's always yung story, ah, kung paano sila nagiging positive. It's always either kasi pumunta sila sa birthday party um, and so in short, dinabas ng parent, yung child. Or galing sa parent. I mean, kasi yung parent dumabas and then nahawa yung bata. Ganun lagi yung story. So parang, ba? the last thing we want to do, as moms especially, I'm not a mom, but I mean, <laughs> for mothers, um, is to be the source of the disease to your child. But that's the last thing you want to do. So um, the responsibility na natin is to be, how to be creative in... Uh, introducing that social interaction aspect to your child. So for young kids, ang important lang naman talaga is mommy and daddy is always there. Talk to them, sing to them. Um, make sure your face, if it's a very small baby, your face is near the child, you know? Kasi yun lang naman talaga yung visual field nila, kaya nag breastfeeding tayo, di ba? From the breast area to the face of the mom. That's really just all they can see at that point. And that's enough. That's social interaction already you know eventually you'll see that your child develops like a social smile the mommy so nags smile na siya and then eventually makikita mo na ang gusto lang nila is mommy and daddy yung bosses lang ni mommy and daddy kasi afterwards parang may anxiety na sila with strangers and that's fine that's part of the development of a child now with covid and the pandemic and they can't go out there are other ways um other ways would be yeah to sort of parang Zoom with friends, with like cousins, pwede yun. Pero always limit the time um, with gadgets kasi nga, personally kami, less than two hours, less than three hours in a day. Um, usually ang recommendation for younger kids. Uh, but that doesn't remove the fact that at least meron siyang two to three hours playing with kuya, ate, cousin, yung ganon, na nakausap nila. So there are other ways. Hindi lang, hindi lang sila stuck at home. Basta yung for me talaga the most important is at this point, wag muna natin sila ilabas. Um, it's a little easier for older children. Kasi pag older children, you know, there are other creative ways. Like I've seen moms on Facebook and online. They they started doing um, letters. Tapos nagsisnail mail na sila. Parang, alam mo yun, sobrang like old school style. But it's a form of social interaction. And in fact, nasistimulate pa imagination nila. They get to send pictures and drawings and stuff like that. So, para there are other creative ways to do it, talaga. Um, but it really depends on how creative and how far you're willing to go for your for your baby. And as you know, as super moms, you guys will of course do amazing, and you'll come up with new things. There's so many cute. Like I just did a really quick Google search on like how to do social. Like panic ako sa question. But yeah, that's what they're doing. Like people are literally doing para mga yan, mga snail mail or they're um yung may, some moms, they do like puppet shows. I, I haven't really read it. Like, parang mga puppet shows but with the photos of their cousins. And you know, it's like a visual cue for them. It's kind of cute, the bad. It's a cute idea. Uh, I don't know how you're gonna 
really do it, di ba? It's the, ano eh, it's how you do it. Pero, um, right now, I think, ang pinaka-important social interaction is with the family. So, let's keep it within the family. Let's stay home. Um, yun lang talaga yung gusto ko isabi, sabihin sa Facebook na to. Stay home, please. Huwag po kayo lumabas. Um, pero yun talaga. Um, yeah, the social interaction will follow. Parang, don't be afraid that your child will grow up na uh, may social anxiety or na may gana. It will follow. It will it will happen. Basta you talk to your child. You continue to stimulate your child. You engage your child at, at the home. Yun lang naman talaga yung parang pinaka-core. The home is always the first school. It's the first learning place of every child. So, um, and then when when it comes to parenting, pass na ako doon. Si Bia na yun. Si <laughs> Bia oh. and si Sanya na yun. Hindi pa ako parent. <laughs> Alam ko pa, ano? Ah, sa mga nanonood po, hindi pa po ako parent. <laughs> my, my sister lang po ako na 18 years younger than I am. Minsan, akala nila ako yung mommy ni Viel, but I'm not. <laughs> Pero yeah, I can actually to yung concern nga ngayon ni Mommy Edlaine, no? Kasi parang not only with little children, but also with school age children, no? How do you... Uh, how do you enhance their social skills given na uh, um, for the longest time no, we don't know anything hindi natin alam kung um, yung alam lang natin form of interaction and for us to meet new friends no, is to really go outside no, sa schools natin no, sa mga kapitbahay natin, mga kalaro natin sa labas. Pero ngayon pandemic na hindi bawal, bawal tayong ano bawal tayong lumabas kasi nga um, medyo delikado for our health. Paano ngayon na-develop? How do we now um, encourage our children uh, or our sisters um, to be able to at least uh, have uh, some sort of social interaction? No? Um, this is actually a, a challenge ngayong pandemic given na um, one of the things that we were that we learned no or the one of the things that we have been um encouraging mommies before the pandemic is to limit nga the screen time kasi nga um it has certain effects no or or um it it can it can um affect how children socially interact no given na ngayon um may mga bata pa ba marunong maglaro ng patintero, ng tumbang preso? Parang ano, from my experience, um, talking to my young, to my patients who are mommies, parang most of them are usually, ano, most of them would usually look at their gadgets na lang. They wouldn't, hindi nila alam kung ano yung mga games na nilalaro natin before. And ngayon, mas challenging na kasi nga, bawal na talagang lumabas. No? So, wala talaga tayong excuse na, anak, lumabas ka naman, maglaro ka, or like, make some friends. No? How, how will you be able to at least ano, um, encourage uh, encourage being, or, or at least develop that, that social skill that they have to have? Um, I think yung one of the things that the pandemic actually um, has affected is our dynamic within the family, no? So tama yung sinabi ni Tina na um, hindi man natin pwedeng kausapin ngayon yung mga friends natin or at least schedule play dates na uso na ngayon yung mga play dates with children. Um, this is our uh, opportunity, our um, chance to spend time with our um, with our family members. So sa mga mommies, no, it's our opportunity to spend more time uh, with our babies, no? Kasi work from home naman tayo, no? We have that luxury, we have that opportunity already na um, pagkagising natin, nandiyan si baby, hanggang pagkatulog, no? Kasama natin si baby 24-7. So, at least that is um, something that we can do, no? And yung, yung interaction, hindi yung uupo kayo sa couch tapos manonood ng TV together, no? Ang tama yung sinabi ni Tina na you talk to them, you do activities together. Um, one of the things that I did with my sister, <laughs> sorry, sister ko yung experience ko kasi siya yung pinakabata sa family. Um, we would, I would usually involve her when I cook, no? Um, so I make her do yung mga simple things, like for example, oh, Viel, you grate the cheese. Oh, do you know what this is for? something like that. So it does not only make them develop some certain social skills, but it also teaches them how to do um, 
how to do house household chores, di ba? Um, so, si Ava, si Ava is uh, 13 months pa lang. Um, what we can do is actually a lot of playtime, no? We can read stories to our children. We can actually have toys that are very tactile, no? That's very important. Um, without um, being too technical about it, ayun natin maging technical kasi may mga each, each age kasi may mga sinusundan yang developmental milestones and meron yang way for, for us to be able to enhance that. Pero, um, for for babies, no, we can have toys that are very interactive, no. And yung mga play na would involve ikaw, chaka yung ano, yung anak mo. Kung gusto niyo magtagutaguan, pwede din. <laughs> Basta you increase the interaction with your children as much as possible. Um, so I think, uh, paano ano ba yung mga naging challenges niyo um, with this, no, as a mommy, uh, Dr. Tanya, or at least yung mga alaga mommies natin, or yung mga mommies natin na nanonood, you can actually um, uh, comment your questions and we'll be happy to answer them. So, Mommy Tanya, how has it been challenging for you, especially right now na puro lahat um, nasa screen yung mga so, screen time. Ang taas daw ng screen yeah. time ng mga tao. Like, is it already affecting you, especially na sobrang bata pa ni uh, well, well, for me, um, actually, since bata siya, so, you know, when you breastfeed, sometimes you want to use your phone because you're not doing anything. So, since bata pa siya, ganun. Pero, um, sinesearch ko kung pwede, and my parents tell me, don't do that because um, it's bad for, you know, it's bad, you want, you, you want, um, to bond with your baby. So, yeah, I, I limit it. But honestly, I have a hard time because um, I, I, I'm really hands-on. Kahit na dati ni Yaya, um, it, she went home, so I'm extra, extra hard, hands-on. Um, like, 24-7, you take care of him. Tapos, you don't know when to... You Sometimes, talaga nandun yung temptation to use your phone. Kasi... Uh, parang, okay, it's kind of like a break from like taking care of your baby, right? Uh, uh, parang, okay, check ko konti yung phone ko, pero naglalaro siya dun sa tabi mo. So like, I'm actually um curious if how to handle that. Like, shouldn't I use my phone when like he's playing beside, when he's beside me? I mean, I talk to him a lot. Like, Kasi sobrang kudalang ko lang maggumamit na phone. Pero sometimes may talagang temptation to use it. And it uh, sometimes I'm guilty pa when I... I just check the notifs, okay? No notifs. So, um, kapag, kapag ganon, like I feel guilty pa. Kasi merong period of time na I'm not talking to my child. And he's just playing, blah, blah, blah. Tapos, I, I don't know how to go about that. It's so confusing as a mom. Like, um, no phones talaga or I, I'm, I don't know actually challenging a medical professional na pero yung nuances yeah. ng pagiging parent nagka-factor in pa din talaga no? yeah and it's it's when I search it naman wala namang like sinasabi lang limit screen time so parang mm, gano ka the last so I'm I don't know is it in the books <laughs> you know, I don't know um uh, okay like Oh, gosh, this is so. Oh. <laughs> um, what from what I remember, the recommendation kasi ng American Academy of Pediatrics is that, and they're coming from the idea that uh, brain development happens in the first two years of life, like the the major brain development, and so screen time kasi nga, it it can affect in the sense na parang in some of the journals I read, it was more of the social aspect because they're, they're stuck to the screen, etc. Um, I remember they would say that if a child is less than 18 years old, the child should not have any exposure to screen time. The only exception is if you have an OFW parent, um and you know i mean like how can you say no to that i mean it's always a case to case basis diba? so yun yung allowed na screen time for a, a baby less than 18 years old ah, 18 months old 18 years old 18 months old so pwedeng mag ano parang screen time with um uh like zoom chat whatever kung oh, hi baby <laughs> sorry attention to um kung yung, um kung communicating with a parent of the because it's important to see the parent and then i think from 18 months to 24 
um, to 24 months allowed na ang use of screen time supervised by a uh, parent or grandparent pero limit parang ang ang sinasuggest nila is um, for two to three years old it should not go past one hour pero kasi what they, when they say screen time I think what they're uh, they're talking about with screen time is as in yung child nakatutok sa screen na matagal as in pinapanood niya lang yung screen so if it's a uh, if it's, I think, Tanya, like for you specifically, and I think to the moms, I, I completely understand what you're saying, na when you're breastfeeding, yeah, it's mommy bonding, uh, but I guess you get bored. <laughs> I don't know, or like, I mean, it's, it's a tire, I'm, I'm guessing, I'm imagining, it's a tiring thing. Um, and you know, when it's, he's asleep na, so like, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't <laughs> talk to him naman, eh, I think it's okay. I think it's fine to watch. I mean, it's for you. You know, a happy, healthy mom is better than a tired mom that can't give the best to their child. So I think that you also have to take care of yourself. Oh, mental health. You have to take care of yourself first before also your child. You have to be the best for your child. So that's fine. Ang, ang ayaw lang natin, I think, is leaving your child. I mean, I think moms will agree with us. Like, leaving your child with an, I don't know, with a phone or an iPad. Tapos, oh, sige, manood ka na movie dyan. Tapos, iniwan mo lang yung child mo doon na, di ba, sobrang bata. I mean, huwag naman. Like, you know, this is the time that you bond with your kids and play with your kids. Um, I know that there's like limitations. Sometimes walang yaya. You're, everyone's work from home. You can't have your kid always like running around for work from home and all that. Uh, case-to-case basis, I still think you have to do the best that you can given the circumstances that you have. You know, these are recommendations. These are guidelines. They're not strict rules. So, I know that every mom has their like best intention for their child. So they're doing the best they can. Always, always. I believe that. Like every mom is doing the best that they can. So yeah, if you need a few minutes or a new, you know, like 30 minutes, whatever, to watch something that will make you happy while breastfeeding, go ahead. Just don't leave your child watching and like screen what your child watches. I think that's also important. And and parang ngayon, parang I thought I really thought about your question earlier, mommy, um, Elena. Yung screen time, I think kasi the screen time, if used for the purpose of socialization, I think it's okay to make that exception during this pandemic. I mean, I, I don't know how our kids honestly will turn out with this pandemic. This is one whole generation of kids going through the same thing. So I hope also at the same time. I mean, sabay sabay din sila mag socialize. So at least they're not alone, di ba? <laughs> so yun, I mean, let's, let's just help them. And then if Zoom is the way, fine, at least Zoom is, at least socialization, di ba? At least hindi siya like, I don't know, like games na sobrang violence yung pinapakita or something. Not like that, di ba? So screen what you show, but limit. And then if wala na talagang option, go ahead, I guess. But always in moderation. Everything in moderation, I think. <laughs> Well, thank you for that, Tina. Actually, we're seeing some comments on our Facebook feed. No? Uh, apparently, you can now install some apps on the phone so you can schedule screen times and even monitor how much time your kids are watching um, things on the device or even the app, what apps they're using. I think it's something that people can consider. Actually, ngayong panahon na to, sobrang ganda kasi ang dami ng bagong applications na pinagamitin for health professionals and even parents to use to take care of their kids. And that's actually what Alaga Health is, no? It's actually an all-in-one mobile and web platform that gives you access to telehealth, to home care, to laboratory testing, to everything that you can think of. Even when it comes to setting up appointments for your um, next checkup, lahat yun pwede nang gawin coming this June 2021. So very, very exciting. Um, I think we have a couple more questions here. One more here. May tanong daw about tantrums. Ito, I'm, I'm quite sure na mayroong experience ng ating mga alaga moms with this. I mean, na ba mga experience about kids and their tantrums at home? Ayan, nagpapakita sa screen natin si Mommy Edlaine with Baby Ava. Hello! Hi, Ava. <laughs> Hi, Ava. Wow. <laughs> so, what happens to you, Ava, Edlaine, or even Des and Ari? Are their kids actually have tantrums a lot? And what do you usually do? Do you have any questions for our resident doctors? 
Um, I actually have a question about tantrums. So I heard that it's normal for a two-year-old kid to have tantrums, but for how long? Because sometimes I feel like I'm spoiling her every time na mag uh, may hihingin siya. Bibigay mo siya agad-agad para hindi umiyak. Kasi once na actually madalas, madalas na kapag may um, hinihingi siya, like penyare um uh, yung mga uh, kind of Uh, sardines. Yung mga nasa sa lamesa, sa kitchen, kukunin niya yung um, kutsara, tinidor, eh hindi nga siya pwede kasi makamasagalan or something. Pero ayun, pinipilit niyang kunin. Tapos kapag hindi na kumain gusto niya, magbawala, magkahalong pasay sa baba. So, what can I do to, I mean, I don't want to spoil her. Ayoko naman siyang ma- mawili ng kada iiyak siya, ibibigay lahat. What can I do about that? That's so relatable niyan, no? <laughs> Sobrang, yan, yan actually has been one of the problems, di ba, Tina? Like, terrible, they, they all, they call it terrible twos, right? Yeah? Yeah. Um, but uh, one of the things, siguro, that, that we can do, no? Because tantrums has been one of the problems talaga um, with kids, no? Na minsan kasi... Um, may gusto sila na bawal pa nga sa kanila or might put them in harm's way. No? Pero how do we deal with it? Kasi um, tantrums can often, ano, no? can often prolong for like a, quite a while no? and it can, it can disrupt a lot of things. No? Yung work din natin. Um, one of the things siguro that, and actually, um, one, of, one of the things that I have been Um, telling my patients or advising my patients and this actually ano, na ginagamit ko rin to kay Biel minsan at ngayon alam niya na yung mga sikreto ko <laughs> yung iibahin niya na iibahin niya na yung ano niya yung style niya but I'll go back to what I said earlier about giving the or or um, making them choose by giving them a notion of having the choice no for for example if Um, nagiging problem yung screen time. Yung, for example, mami manonood pa ako ng TV but it's already bedtime. Um, what I usually do um, with Biel, <laughs> si Biel na naman, she's the star of this, ano, the star of this show. Maybe next time, Dex, you can invite Biel. No? <laughs> yeah, sige na. Go ahead. Actually, <laughs> right this moment, naglalabasin na ng mga babies. Ayun na, naglalabasin sila sa screen. So, Uh, we have Ari. Hi. Say hi. Hi. Hello. Say hi. Hello. 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 Yeah, no, I hope these kids look at, um, parang looking at these kids, mukha namang ano no, hindi sila nagtatantrum. <laughs> But um, one of the things that I did when Biel was younger, she would just have tantrums, no? Um, because because my parents are medyo, ano na, um, yun nga, the gap, the gap has been very long dun sa akin tsaka kay Biel, no? Um, what I would usually do is to uh, for example magtantrum si Gil ate I want to I want to play pa um, but it's sleeping time already what I do is that okay um, what you can do is um, five minutes I, I give her the choice okay let's play right now um, for for like say additional 10 minutes and then you sleep and then after tomorrow tomorrow when you wake up we won't play kasi nagplay ka na eh um, but you can choose to sleep now and then we'll play Um, when you wake up, you wake me up. We can play. Um, we can play in the morning. So um, again, you don't give them. You don't give them the chance to answer yes or no, right? So they can only choose one, uh, one over the other. So that's I think one of the things that mommies can do uh, for uh, for their children to be able to at least handle or manage yung mga tantrums. But actually, hindi lang tantrums sa mga children. Tantrums din ng mga, ano, ng mga not so young. 
Pwede rin ganun. But, but you always have, um, you always give them the choice of what they can do, no? Or what, um, and remember the choice has to be something uh, within your within your certain limits, no? So you give them a certain amount of time to be able to do things that they want. And then, pasunurin mo na siya sa um, thing that you actually want them to do. Um, in the same way that you also do that with their nutrition, no? And I hope yung mga alaga babies natin dito uh, are not are are ano are not giving our mommies a hard time. But um, I'm pretty sure that um, they're just as lovely as our alaga mommies right here. Um, and I didn't notice the time. It's already nine o'clock, de ba? So pasalap yung kwentuwa natin ano Dex. That's true. Actually, um, before we just leave the topic first, tulong ko lang sa ating um, medical professional na first time mommy that tanya kinakabahan ka na ba na magka-terrible twist na eventually yung kid mo. Nag-notes ka na ba? Nare-review mo na ba lahat ng mga dapat gawin as a mommy and as a doctor at the same time? Yeah, I'm taking note of all of these. Like, okay, internalize. <laughs> Kasi t- ngayon pa lang, like 10 months pa lang siya, um, he, he, nagtatantrums, it's starting, it's starting na. And it's so hard because you just want to give him what he wants, really. Eh, tapos, ang ano pa, parang ngayon pa lang, ano na ako, parang nagpapanik na ako ish. What if pag two na siya, so I'm just gonna take it one day at a time and... Of course, apply your advice. So, thank you, guys. <laughs> yeah, so I, I think that's all the time that we have. I imagine that enjoy ako ng masyado kasi I, I barely noticed the time passed by. I had such a great time listening to all of your stories and your thoughts about um, your experiences as moms as well as your challenges. And I think now is a good a time as any for your final messages. And probably, this is your platform also to maybe even give our moms a happy Mother's Day for tomorrow. So, let's do a round of names. I will first call on our resident Pedia doctor, Dr. Tina De La Pan. Hey, everyone. Thank you to Alaga Health for inviting me tonight. It was really fun. Um, I really enjoyed this. Again, to the moms, and you got this. I mean, you guys are the best that you guys can be. Again, what I said, diba? you only want what's best for your child. So you're really doing what you can. I think, siguro, best advice, hindi na talaga siya medical, and I'm not a mom, so sana matandaan ko to when I become a mom. But um, just know what kind of parent you want to be. You know, if you want to be a disciplinarian, if you want to be like the super chill moms or whatever, know what you want to be and then stick to that. And then everything else will follow. Because you, you decide it. You're the parent. You know, don't let the kid dictate it. No, no, no. You're the mom. And as the mom, <laughs> Tanya, <laughs> as the mom, um, you know, you know what's best. You know what's right. And also, you're not alone. Ha? You have whoever is there in your home to support you. You have Alaga Health to support you. Um, Doc Dex, Doc B, I will always be here. And um, yeah, so the moms, you guys are amazing. I'm, I just realized I'm surrounded by mommies and be a semi-mommy. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. And you guys are amazing. <laughs> amazing women. You guys are amazing women. Salute to all of you. Happy Mother's Day to my own mommy, Mommy Marisa, to my Ninang Pini, and to um, Tita Althea. So happy, happy Mother's Day. And ano, uh, you guys, basta you've got this. You mommies are amazing. Alam nyo, nalabas nyo sila. You know? Nalabas nyo sila. So everything else, kayang kaya nyo yan. Happy Mother's Day! Okay. Maybe let's ask uh, one of our Alaga mommies, Mommy Bess. Any final messages then? Happy Mother's Day po sa lahat. Uh, lalo na kina Edley, kina Ari, and sa inyo po, uh, Dr. Tanya, Dr. Uh, Dr. Javier, <laughs> sabi ko sana. Iba ako, Mama. Oh. Iba ako, Mama. <laughs> Sabi ko sana, ayun. Sa mami ko, uh, sa, sa mga tita ko, and mga lola. So, yun lang po. Salamat po. Mami Ari, Mami Edlaine. 
Hello, um, happy Mother's Day po sa lahat sa sa kay Dr. Tina, Dr. Tanya. Um, happy Mother's Day din sa mama ko at saka sa mga tita, tita, lala, tita Weng, sa sa lola ko. Yun ba? Thank you. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs> Mami Adley naman daw, nagpapakita si Bibi, o. Oh. Nandiyan pa ba si Ava? Yes. Uh, thank you, Doc. And happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Happy Mother's Day to me. <laughs> okay. Maraming salamat for the time, Doc. Thank you also. And uh, maybe you can check in with our resident mommy slash doctor, Mami Tanya. Um, happy Mother's Day. Thank you again for having me, Dex. Alaga Health. Um, I needed this from my routine, <laughs> to be honest. Um, a message for moms. Like, I didn't know how hard it was to be a mom until I, I had to be one. And it's, it's definitely one of the, it's the most challenging thing I've ever um, encountered. Like, um, it's really an all day all night job and um grave saludo talaga ako sa mga moms to be honest so um this tomorrow is for you guys um celebrate your motherhood and of course like take care of yourselves too because um you wouldn't um you would want to give your child your best and for that to happen, you have to um, be your best. So um, always be a good role model for your child. Um, stay healthy. Um, always think na mm, you want to live longer for your child. Um, and of, of course, give him the best that you can. So yeah, happy Mother's Day to everyone. And yeah, that's it. Ang cute nila lahat. <laughs> Kids. Mine is asleep already. <laughs> Aww. We would Aww. have wanted to look to... Yeah. Uh, this won't be the last time. We are sure that. Of course. Any messages, Dr. Via? Of course, yes. Again, sa lahat po ng mga nanonood, um, sa lahat ng mommies na nanonood, sa would-be mommies, sa mommies who has a post already, and to all the moms, the second moms who have been there and who have been um, with us, taking care of us since we were young, since we were we were um, we were their children, um, we would like to offer all of this. Isa tong saludo para sa inyo and all the things that you do. Sabi nga nila, no, ang pinaka mahirap na trabaho sa lahat ay ang pagiging nanay kasi it's 24-7, walang overtime pay, walang compensation, walang benefits. The only thing that they have or the only benefit or the only um, consuelo kumbaga, that they have is their children and their loved ones. So lahat kami ay saludo sa inyo and we all thank all of you for loving us and for being there for us, for giving us life. No? And um, I would like to take this opportunity to greet all the mommies right there, especially my mom, my mamang, mom, my lola mamang. Happy Mother's Day, mamang. My mama, mama Lucille. Mama, happy Mother's Day. And all my titas who has been a second mom to me. Um, mama Nining, I'll, I'll, I'll mention all of Mama Nining, Tita Guy, Tita Vaughn, Mommy Rose in New York, happy Mother's Day. And of course, um, I'm expecting this. I'm very excited for this. My ate, happy Mother's Day. Finally, I can greet you. Um, happy Mother's Day. And of course, um, I would like to greet all our Alaga mommies. And Dr. Tanya, happy Mother's Day. And to all your moms as well, happy Mother's Day. To your mom, Pina, happy Mother's Day also. And to your mom, Tex, Tita Maribic, happy Mother's Day. Um, and uh, to all the friends of my mom, Tita Doc, Tita Nenet, happy Mother's Day po. And sa lahat ng nanay natin na patuloy na nag-aalaga sa atin, happy Mother's Day po. And um, asahan ninyo, na sa pag-aalaga niyo sa inyong pamilya at sa inyong mga mahal sa buhay, katuwang niyo po ang alaga 
sa pagbibigay ng pagmamahal at pag-aaruga sa ating mga mahal sa buhay. Thank you Alaga for doing this no and for for giving us the opportunity to be able to um reach out to our moms and for uh, for our moms to be able to um be able to be celebrated today no and hopefully this won't be the next for sure you will see more of our alaga mommies and our um doc uh, magagandang doctora doctora tina and doctora sanya thank you for being with us tonight and um uh, my last message for everyone is that you stay healthy be with your family um celebrate your mom celebrate life celebrate love and we'll see you next time all right with that being said i think we have come to the end of our very short program uh, we will all see you next week for another alaga health live but before the show ends i would like to thank all of our guests tonight uh dr tanya dr tina dr via our mommies uh, mommy ari mommy Bess, mommy edlane and to all of the mommies watching the show and especially also to my mom happy mother's day mama marie and to all of you who are hoping to have better options when it comes to health day that's why we launched this program uh, a day before mother's day because we want to be somewhat like the mom figures that we've all loved our lives because we want to feel the care that they give us anytime, anywhere, in every way. And with that being said, hopefully you would be with us as you run up to the grand launch of the Alaga Health Platform and tune in next week for another fun discussion with our special guests. Maybe you'll see some of our guests from tonight as well. So um, let's all wave everyone goodbye. Thank you, everyone. And I hope you have a great great evening. Happy Mother's Day, everyone! Bye! <laughs>